what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? R. Kelly and rapper X Tenstacion has become the first casualties in music streamer Spotify's recently launched hate content and hateful conduct public policy, which just happens to coincide with the Mute R. Kelly campaign. Their music will still be available on the service, but Spotify won't actively promote it, meaning that, you know how you see those playlists and these recommendations and things like that, which helps artists' music move toward the front so people can purchase it, know it's there? They're not going to do that anymore. So music won't be readily available or easy to find like it has been in the past. They said, we don't censor content because of an artist's or creator's behavior, but we want our editorial decisions, what we choose to program, to reflect our values. Let's cover this lie real quick. We don't censor content because of an artist's or creator's behavior, but we want our editorial decisions, what we choose to program, to reflect our values. You think we fucking dumb? It's the same damn thing, fool. And these people really will try to insult your intelligence, man, if you let them. Extenstation was charged with multiple felonies, including beating up his girlfriend, his then ex-girlfriend ex back in 2016. And he also was uh, accused of false imprisonment and witness tampering, and he's facing up 30 years in prison. Uh, Extenstation's reps, like R. Kelly's, called into question the implications of the policy, uh, sending out a list of more than 10 artists that have been accused of crimes or sexual misconduct. That list is very prestigious. It includes everyone from David Bowie to Ozzy Osbourne to Michael Jackson. Let's call this what it is. This is a hit job. Black men, they're coming for you. It is what it is. Let's stop faking. You know, for whatever I thought about Cosby, innocent or guilty, I ain't stupid. I see what they're doing. Because there is a number of people who are not black, number of men out there who are not black, who are in high positions, who, are, who have been entertainers. None of these guys got drugged. And what Kelly and Extenstacion is saying, what their reps are saying, hey, these guys, right now, these are allegations. None of these guys have been proven guilty. They haven't even been convicted. Yet their music is getting pulled. Let me tell you something. I like anybody who has a heart a shred of decency, support any victim of sexual assault. But this Me Too movement and this Time's Up movement and this uh, Mute R. Kelly thing that's going on, man, this is malicious. This personal, it's racial. This ain't about justice because these movements don't care about black women. These victims were black. They don't care about black women. When are people going to understand that? They don't care about black women. If they did, they would be on the scene when black women are being violated by the police and in certain domestic abuse situations. They would be there. But no, they want to come after R. Kelly and Extenstacion. Why? Because they're black males getting real money. Because they're black males getting real money. That's why they're coming after them. It ain't enough that they want them to pay for 
an alleged crime, but they want to stop these men from eating. They want to stop them from eating. They going out around here trying to stop R. Kelly music from being played. They trying to stop R. Kelly from doing shows. I can't wait till he come to Houston. I'm going. I'm, I'm about. I'm about ten damn tickets. I'm going. Let R. Kelly. Let me find out R. Kelly coming around. Let me find out anywhere where R. Kelly got a show. I'm there. I'm there. They're not fooling me, man. I know what time it is. These people do not care about black women. They acting like they fronting. They are acting like they care. They don't care. If they cared about black women, where were they? during the Waffle House situation. Where was these movements when Sandra Bland got popped up? Well, she didn't get popped up, but they, you know, you, you know what they did to her when they killed her. Where were, where were they? You know, my man uh, Phil Scott from the Advice Show, look him up on YouTube. He got a cold-blooded channel, man. He just did a cold-blooded video on it, talking about these liberal organizations how they use black women, making black women think they care. Got black women out here turning on their black men, talking about black men ain't this, they ain't nothing, they ain't shit, da 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 da. At the same time, they going home to they white men. <laughs> Phil say in, 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 the, in the video, Phil made the point that white women, you never hear them saying, White man ain't shit. White man is white man that. They don't say that shit. And white men have done them some dirty shit too. Through the years, they have been done. There's a lot of white women been murdered by white men, raped by white men, and everything else by white men. Brutalized, beat up, everything. You know, they, they, you don't hear them saying white man ain't shit. Fuck white man. I'll never date white man again. These organizations don't care about black women. And this is a hit job. This is all racial, man. They coming after these men because they black. They black. That's why they coming after them. Hey, all you got to do to make me a liar is go after the white boys with the same amount of energy that you're going after R. Kelly. Go out there and destroy a white boy like you did Bill Cosby. Do that. Then I'll believe something. Until then... I'm not buying it. I'm calling bullshit. Jerry Lewis, didn't he marry his 13-year-old cousin? Where were they then? So y'all gonna go back through the uh, records? Y'all gonna pull all those titles from all of these artists through the years that's been accused of sexual assault? Spotify full of shit, man. They playing games. It's all politics, man. This is all politics. I say, shit, uh, you gonna pull R. Kelly. First of all, R. Kelly make love songs. R. Kelly ain't never had a one song where he talking about harming somebody except, with, what was that, in the closet song or whatever, but that was all theatrics. But R. Kelly make love songs. You wanna, Take somebody off the playlist or something, man. You want to ban somebody, ban me. I got a whole bunch of songs talking about some real shit. Ban me. I don't give a damn. Don't nobody listen to Spotify anyway. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.